Hi there, I'm Laura Anaba, professional surfer and talker, and this is your behind the scenes all access look at the WSL World Tour. Oh. <laughs> When you've come to a place with the sharpest reef in the world, you walk out with your favourite hubbies on. Go, Gabby! Burn him, burn him! <laughs> <laughs> moment. Oh look, there goes Lakey. Yeah Lakes, have fun. Yeah Taji. What comp do you get a truck and a boat to go surfing? Mental. Have fun. Yeah Jimmy. Yeah baby, killing it. I reckon I could jump it. I reckon I can jump it. Uh, is this what you do in between heats? Oh my god, I literally don't leave the, I don't leave the fan. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, the next heat winner we have Risa Hennessy. <laughs> Who employed us? I know. I <laughs> love them. Thank you, the people that employ us. Oh my god, look at this view. Oh yeah. Who, Who did? Look at this view. <laughs> bigger wave as we come down further onto the money tree section and now it slows up and Sal on this bird's eye view here just hammers that section you've got a full view trying to get herself into this heat quick start grabs that rail thinks about the barrel for a moment doesn't find any cover so she'll go to turns no much speed as she hammers down the line and she's going to dig in big transition hook there out into the pocket again and this wave's given her the opportunity for some combinations on the end of this ride this one's tapering the commitment on that final section as we see Gabriella up, the 20 year old rookie, just hacking her way through a couple of big jams here and she does well to hang on to the finish. Uh, oh, my hair got stuck. Oh, I just got a quick haircut. Indonesian style fan. Talk, talk to us about your barrel like before the event. Oh my gosh, I, I really lucked into that one. I totally had no expectations going out there and I honestly didn't know what the reef looked like so it's probably why I pulled in and then like immediately after that I was like, it's extra sharp. <laughs> Thank goodness I made it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Are you, have you been wearing your booties? I wear it like out there and then I like stuff it in my um, brash guard. And then, yeah, I got worked one day so bad that my booties went to my booty. Yeah, so I had oh extra gosh. padding on my butt. No so way. it wasn't actually too bad. <laughs> but weird. I lost them, so <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, Good luck in the next one. Thanks, fun. Laura. I like your fit. You look so cute. Duff me. 
That makes it kind of hard. Alright, back to work. That was my break. Done. Basically, we're living in the jungle here and we're on the doorstep of one of the most epic left hand reef breaks in the world. So, we, um, everyone's staying in cabins in the jungle and we got the surf spot right here. So, everyone's just eating together, surfing together. Feels like one big surf trip and that's what makes it so fun. And what happened to your toes? Ah, oh, my toes, that's still some residue, some leftover toenail paint from Bells Beach and Margie's. It won't come off. So. Um, any tips there are welcome. Day day number four, five. Lost count. It's been a it's been a good few days in the jungle. I think everyone's gone a bit stir crazy, but we found some ways to keep us entertained. Those have included. An incredible raging dance party on the first night. Started as just like a little impromptu sunset session and my legs and feet have been sore for the last three days. I've had to recover from non-stop dancing for about five hours. Best part about the party was that it started at about 4 p.m. and ended at 9. Everyone was actually in bed by 9.30. Look at the monkeys! Hello guys! Hi! You guys are so cute! I just wish they loved us, but they just don't. We've had a few pretty gnarly like Storms roll through the last few days. Everyone's still been having an awesome time. This place is paradise. What have you been up to the last couple of days? A bunch of nothing. Wake up, do nothing. And then after doing nothing, I do a little bit more nothing. And then I do a little bit of nothing before going to bed. Nice. Yeah. This is the tent block. I'm in the jungle. I'm gonna hang out with Baron and Carl and Tommy and Rio, everybody. Just lose my mind. Four days, maybe three days on the surf. It's pretty good. <laughs> What you made for it. Two, one. That's it. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh the boy. Let's do this. Ice coffee. Am I in the middle? Laura. Sit next to me. Yeah. Alright. Something different. Ronnie Blakey with Laura Annover and Richie Lovett on what will be uh, day seven of the event window and looking to get competition underway shortly. Laura, we've been waiting a, a long time in anticipation of the start of this uh, elimination round for the, the man. It's been a difficult call for Felipe and Yago. They've been uh, on hold and off again around 20 times now. Yeah, 20 times. That's what we found out this morning. It was actually 18 this morning, then plus the two holds this morning. So yeah, Yago really waited a long time for this way. Let's see if it paid off. Oh, he got the air in there. Low tail reverse into a nice snap, so possibly paying off here. Fortunately, the wave just fizzled out the end, but he got some amazing work done. It's Connor O'Leary and Jody Swiss. As we see Connor, a nice looking face. Big hack there for O'Leary. Nice fan on that snap and quick transitions for three beautiful moves. Looks like he's got the energy for a punt. Big backside, full rotation. Lane back in the white water, doesn't want to give up on this one, and Kanoa will ride away. Jadson throws down a big punt, something he's been doing all week in these kinds of So we're in the competitors area. Dreeland's out there, all these guys on their phone. What are you watching? Just the contest. Oh, the contest? Yeah. What season? Uh, I don't know, the Dreeland <laughs> Bungie Wungie episode. <laughs> and what are you watching, Connor? Stranger Things? Bungie Wungie series, huh? <laughs> Two three. <laughs> episode seven. Uh, That's episode five. Come on, catwalk. Catwalk. Yeah. Are you going to have an omelette or a pancake for finals day? Depends what Connor's having. Connor, omelette or pancake for finals day? I can't tell Maddie because she's in my head. Oh. We are on, ladies and gentlemen. 8.35. Finals day. Straight up. Long black. Detonating long black. Long black. 
straight to the head. Bangiwangi. <laughs> 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 for Bangiwangi. Final <laughs> 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 day, baby. Woo! We waited a while for this. Waited a week for this. Waited a long time. Actually, probably like 10 days. Two weeks. Excitement levels just lost track. Bursted. Lost track of time. What day is it? I don't know. Neither. <laughs> That's an already uh, a massive heat win for him in the previous round, getting the jump on John John Florence. And he's going to start things off for us here in the quarterfinals of the Quicksilver Pro G Land. Couple of big hooks off the top. Nice series of turns on the outside. This wave shaping up nicely down the line as well as he climbs the roof. Big float in good form as he's made his run through to this point in the competition. Medina looking for an answer now. Big wall stands up, goes to that grab rail car. Beautiful stuff to get things going. And then kicks on the tail. Plenty of power in that second move. As he now grinds through a snap. Lots of variation on show here already. As he goes hammering down the line. Just finds a bit of release there. Probably didn't tee off the way he would have liked, but he's still going. Just getting started as the goofy foot takes charge. Bronte McCauley driving off the bottom. Clean top turn. Drives again to a beautiful bottom turn. Nice wrap. Nice flow and tempo. Third turn right on the money. Champs a beautiful arc right in the pocket. Well, here and have a look at this wave to start things off. Joanne DeFay fighting for the inside position and it's paying off at the moment. Getting this first ride, taking to the pocket of this wave and let's see if she can finish this one off as she has throughout the event. And again, just rock solid. Looks so solid on a road through to this point. The final of the Roxy Pro G Land. Let's see if she can regather some momentum here. Looking to set up the inside and hits it, hangs on for the finish here. Here we go on the outside. It looks like Joanne DeFay making her move. And this is wave number three. Already has the lead, but is trying to get rid of a 2.3. She's already done it on this wave. And there's a nice combination. Again, a solid finish. And pretty close when you look at the numbers. But Joanne DeFay is going to be the champion of the Roxy Pro G Land. Her domination on left-hand reef brakes continues, and she takes the win. <laughs> oh, 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 Welcome to the final of the Quicksilver Pro G Land. It's been a long wait, 25 years in fact. Felipe Toledo or Jack Robinson, is it about time? As we see the backhand snap complete from Jack Robinson, he'll hang on to the finishing move under Felipe's priority. Love that style with that backhand two stance. Back to turns for Felipe. Plenty open face to work with. Crushes it there, two big hooks. There's the third and quickly reacting to shut it down. Recovering on his heels, he will stay on his feet. One of the hardest things to do in the game, go all the way and beat the best surfers in the world to be the champion of the event. In motion, we're watching the backhand of the Australian Jack Robinson. Blowing through some backhand arc, stomps on that one. And now setting things up, swinging back into the pocket, Toledo going straight up vertically. Hard off the bottom, nice snap to slide. He controls it, and he might be able to get into this one. We're already into the countdown. Three seconds on the clock, he's up to his feet, needs a 6.67, hammers the first section. Blasts it again under the hood. Looking for a finish, he's gotta stay on his feet, and Jack Robinson shuts it down on the buzzer. He's happened! He could make a song and dance about it. He got a buzzer beater again. He did it! You did? No! 7.0! Yeah. 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 You did it! Yeah!